our pancreas is most mostly mostly retroperitoneal. We know that it is going to be closely associated with and located right in the curve of the duodenum. It will be deep to the greater curvature of the stomach and its tail is going to abut the spleen. It has two major series of functions and we've already talked about the endocrine function. We will focus now on the exocrine function because we need to know all about pancreatic juice. So they're going to be this acini, which are clusters of secretory cells and the, that are going to be, they're going to develop the, or produce the pancreatic juice and that will be moved into the duodenum through the pancreatic duct, which runs down the middle of the pancreas. So that shows you what the cells look like and what an acinus looks like. You're going to produce about 1500 milliliters of pancreatic juice daily. It is relatively water um, alkaline. It is watery. It is going to be required because remember that the chyme moving out of the stomach is quite acidic and we need this alkaline solution, pH around 8, to neutralize the chyme. Primarily, you're going to be using bicarbonate ions to do that. The pancreas will also produce a slew of enzymes, amylase, lipases, nucleases. All of those are going to be secreted in their active form, but you may need bile or ions to make them work at, uh, optimally. The proteases are going to be secreted in an inactive form, so they can't do any damage to proteins in the cell walls. They do need to be activated, and how does that happen? Trypsinogen in active form is going to be activated by um, activated two trypsin by enteropepsidase secreted by intestinal mucosa, and procarboxypeptidase and chymotrypsinogen will be activated by trypsin. This shows you what's happening. It shows you that the proteases are going to be dumped by the pancreas into the duodenum, and that shows you the pathway of what's happening. I'm more interested that you know that those are enzymes that are going to be secreted in their inactive form and need to be activated in order to digest proteins properly. So we've already talked about the liver and the gallbladder and bile. Bile salts are going to be in the enterohepatic circulation and secretion of bile salts will be stimulated by those, um, sorry, bile secretion will be stimulated by secretion of those bile salts in the enterohepatic circulation. Secretin from intestinal cells are exposed or will be exposed to hydrochloric acid and fatty chyme, which will also trigger bile secretion. The hepatopancreatic sphincter is closed unless you have digestion occurring, which will trigger the release of hormones. Then bile that is stored in the gallbladder will be released into the small intestine for emulsification of fat. Gallbladder contraction itself will be stimulated by what's known as CCK or cholecystokinin. That's released from intestinal cells that are going to be exposed to fatty chyme. Vagal stimulation provides a um, minor or minimal stimulus. CCK is also going to cause secretion of pancreatic juice as well as trigger the relaxation of the hepatopancreatic sphincter. CCK induces the secretion of that enzyme-rich pancreatic juice. Remember that pancreatic juice is going to also contain bicarbonate ions to neutralize the chyme. 
that's going to be important. You got to remember that the chyme has to be neutralized so it doesn't damage the walls of the small intestine. And as I mentioned, there is minor stimulation via uh, the via the vagus nerve. So these are the hormones of the major hormones of the duodenum, the three that you need to know. But I want you to remember this. In the duodenum, you're going to have infusions of various secretions. One will be the chyme itself. Remember that the chyme is acidic. Because the chyme is acidic, you need to neutralize that acidity, and you will do so because the pancreas will secrete bicarbonate ions. The other secretion produced by the pancreas will be digestive enzymes. And in fact, the pancreas produces most of the digestive enzymes that are going to be responsible for chemical digestion. At the same place, you will have the secretion of bile. Bile is produced by the liver, stored in the gallbladder, and secreted into the duodenum when triggered to do so by an appearance of fatty chyme in the small intestine. Please know that inside and out. And if you need to, actually we'll go over that in class as, as part of your self quizzes that we do. The next the series of next the next few slides are in a series which show you what happens in terms of release of various hormones and CCK and bicarbonate ions and pancreatic um, enzymes and release of bile, which you can go through one at a time. And we can review that if you need. And we are going to get to the small, the large intestine after we finish some of the actions of the small intestine. So stay tuned for that.